Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, sorry, I'm literally half asleep. But, <laughs> anyway, today I have a bit of a different video for you guys. Now, I know that a lot of you liked my... What's on my iPhone video. So, I'm going to do what's on my MacBook Pro video. Yeah. Um, so, I got this Mac in November before my birthday and the Masons kindly gifted it to me um, they well, they funded it um, and yeah I'm really really happy that I have one so I want to show you what is on it so let's get into it <laughs> hi guys sorry for interrupting this video but I just want to quickly let you know of something huge is that is on my channel right now. So you can vote down below for videos that you want to see. So all you have to do is go in the description down below. There is a link. Click the link. And as you can see, this is what it will take you to. So you've got different options of videos you want to see. You might want, not want to see them. So if you don't want to see that, comment in the little comment little box thing and say what you'd like to see instead, if that makes sense. And then that is literally it. You don't have to in, input any personal details or anything like that. It's just you guys telling me what you want to see next on my channel. So make sure to go vote down below and enjoy the video. <laughs> it's took me so long to get it how I want it and now I feel like it's very orientated. So it's somewhat like amazing. I absolutely love it. Also I've got a lump on the side of my face. I don't know if you can see but just ignore that. I don't know why that's there. But anyway, let's get into the video. I'm gonna screw in the cord obviously because otherwise I can't otherwise like, I can't do anything otherwise like me. <sighs> so this is my screen. Yes, very alienated. Like honestly, I love these photos. So what I did here was I got loads of images of Kari and then I put them into an app called Pixar and then chose the effect to be Badlands and then I edited each photo and then I, I, I put them all in Adobe Spark post and I just love it. I'm obsessed with it and I'm really happy with how it turns out. I also have my phone in this style now as well, so it's just really nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into it. So this is my front page. I've got all my applications like here, but I've got them in these little stacks so they don't take up things. I have photos on here, like this. Like I have different photos on here which I don't need on here so I might just add that to the screenshot thing. Well I can't add it to it. Right. Yeah I have that photo. Don't know why. Then I've got all my music because like I like to edit my like some music and put them into the same music if that makes sense. Um, I like to make like remixes and yeah, I have them on my screen so yeah and then I obviously have all of my screen recordings all of my music like recordings all of my YouTube recordings you know everything then I have all my screenshots because I like to screenshot each lesson because then it helps me when I'm studying so yeah then I have in this 
Oh wow, in this drop down menu I have Finder, which is obviously what we're looking at now, App Store, Calendar, Calen Contacts, Days Until, which I actually don't use, so I, oh god, so I literally could just delete that to be honest, because I don't even use it, so there's no point having that on there, so yeah, then I've got the closure on here, Garage Band, iMovie, Launchpad, which we'll go into in a minute, Mail, Messages, Music, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, Numbers, Pages, Paint S, which I love to use, like, for posters and stuff, it's really fun, Photos, Safari, System Preferences, Keen Train Access, Keynote, Voice Memos, Zoom, and then I've got my preview here, which I don't need to use right now, so I'm going to quit it. And I'm going to remove from Doc. Right, there we go. DVD player, and it hasn't quit, even though it's not plugged in. Um, and I just like it like this. Then I've got all my reminders in here, which is my more of a book because I am currently writing a book and there's no in YouTube, there's none in YouTube, but yes, I am currently writing a book, which is really exciting. Then QuickTime Player, which I'm using now to screen record, and then obviously all my downloads and my BIM. So yeah, very busy. So now let's go into the launch pad. So this is my launch pad. I've also alphabetized, if that's a word, um, all of my apps, like down here. Um, I've made it all look really cool here. So let's do this. So in my apps, these are just like the apps that you can't get rid of or the ones that I shouldn't go on just in case I delete something um, or just stuff that comes into your laptop anyway so I've got activity monitor airport, airport utility automator booty file exchange boot camp assistant console days until which I don't need Disk Utility, Ecosia, Find My iPhone, Home, Keychain Access, Maps, Migration Assistant, which I have no idea what that's for, Mission Control, News, which I do not go on because otherwise it makes me upset with the pandemic. So, but I can't get rid of it, so it's really annoying because I, I just don't like looking at the news. But I have that on there. Siri, Stocks, System Preferences, System Information, and Terminal. So then in my games, I have Chess, which just came with, with here, Homescapes, which you can see that I've not, I haven't actually played with before. I've played on it on my phone on my other laptop, but I haven't played it on here before, so I'm going to do that today. Then Home Design 3D, which I use to design homes. And it is actually really fun designing homes, but the only thing is you have to pay to save it, so you have to do it a different home each time. So you can't just say, oh, I'll, I'll decorate it tomorrow because it's not going to be there tomorrow. So you have to do it all in one day, which I think is a bit annoying. Um, then Audio MIDI Setup. Oh, this is music, by the way. <laughs> This is music. <laughs> Audio mini, MIDI setup, garage band, music, podcasts, voice memos, voiceover utility. The only things that I don't use in here is audio MIDI setup, podcast and voiceover utility because I don't use them. But yeah. Then in photo, I don't actually use any of these. I used to use Photo Booth for 
filming but then it wasn't very good so i don't do that anymore if i want to film on my laptop i'll use quicktime player because you can actually film a video on there image capture photo view preview and screenshot don't know why you need an app called screenshot because if you want a screenshot on a mac here you go here's like a little bit of tip press shift command three and then it screenshots it and it's really good like that so highly recommend doing that then in school i've got a lot of stuff in here so i've got books which i don't use cal calculator which i don't use color sync utility oh god uh, i don't want to go on this just because i don't know what it is <laughs> digital color meter dictionary font book google chrome which i don't use but i have to keep it on here because a certain thing that we use requires google chrome you can't do it on safari which i think is really annoying grapher paint s script editor stickies text edit time machine microsoft teams and microsoft outlook and they're all in the right late order and i really like it <laughs> then in social you can see that i don't have much social media on my phone i have a little bit more social media but i don't have too much <laughs> so yeah but i can't find like this go on here or pinterest so i can't do it on here i can only do it on my phone so it's really annoying like that but anyway contacts facetime mail messages and zoom which zoom i only use to like contact my grandma and granddad on if they want to FaceTime all of us and um, my my old TA like we that's the only thing we use but yeah and then in watch I've really got TV <laughs> which I don't use so it's really annoying that it comes with it I don't think you can delete it can you whoa I think you have to pay for it do you I think you have to pay for it, so I, I, I don't know, but yeah. Then YouTube, yay! This is the last category. So I've got App Store, Calendar, iMovie, which I use for editing. It's actually a really easy way to edit videos and it's completely free as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a good free thing, highly recommend. Kino, which I used to use to make thumbnails. I don't anymore. So I'll probably add that into the school thing because I use it on there more than YouTube. But I did used to make it to use thumbnails, but now I use Canva, which is online, which I'll show you in a minute, actually, because it's really good. Notes, numbers, pages photos, reminders, quicktime player and safari and that is everything in my launch pad I'm very happy with it I'm very happy with my macbook because it's like I've always wanted a macbook and now I literally every time I open it I'm, I just can't believe I've got one so yeah I'm just so pleased that I've got one now so now I'm gonna go into safari Sorry, um, I just saw that it has like, something of my school on here, so I just had to delete that. But anyway, I've got Amazon, Apple, AR, which we use for my school, because every time we read a book, we have to quiz on it. So yeah, I have that just bookmarked. Asda, because that's where we get our deliveries from. And then I can like, think to myself oh i want to do this challenge let's see how much we can get on nasta so it's just easier to go on there then bbc iplayer canva which i use for thumbnails disney plus google icloud netflix vote for video so that i can like quickly go and see how many people how many responses I've had. Oh my gosh, I've got five responses. Okay, so I've, de 
so I'm going to be going on to here. Okay, so I'll be looking through these, don't worry. I'll be looking. Anyway, Welsh translator. This is actually a really good Welsh translator. Like, if you've got Welsh work and you have nothing, like, you don't have an understanding of it, put it in the Welsh translator and it's... Th this Welsh translator is actually really good. Mm. Highly recommend and I will link it down below for you guys. Mm. And then YouTube, because why not? Like, why not? So here... In Canva, I can edit all of my stuff, so all my thumbnails and stuff. I can also write a book, which I'm currently writing. Um, but yeah, the Canva is really easy, and it's it's not money at all. You don't have to pay for it. So yeah, I just have oh, I just have Gracie Moyes up there. And then I can start doing it. So you can get different templates if you want. Features, you can learn things. And then obviously if you want to, to go for a pro, you can. Um, but I'm just gone for free because, you know, I have to. But it's still really good, like, in the three versions. So... If you go on to search, you can choose YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnail or anything you really want. And just type, type it in. So if I typed in YouTube thumbnail, there's hundreds of thousands of different templates you can do. Normally, I just go for a blank one and then add my photo from the video in. But then I like write the text and stuff sometimes I do use um Fonto on my phone but this is really fun to use like if I'm just going on here so yeah this is Canva and I think that's everything yeah that's everything on my computer so I do hope you enjoy this video if you did smash a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys love you Thank you.